Okay, today we will learn how to draw projection of solids in 2D in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, as you can see in the dialog box, there are three modes, part, assembly and drawing. Select drawing. As soon as you select drawing, you will be asked for sheet size. So select A4 size, switch off this display sheet format. So go to custom sheet size, swap the dimensions 297, tab to 10. In order to accommodate all three, we need in landscape format. That is why we have swapped the dimension. Click OK. Now you could see the unit, very important. It should be in MMGS. Scale is 1 is to 1. And this line format toolbar. I'll just show you how to, uh, how to add this line format toolbar. I'll close it. And I'll show you. Right click on any tab here. And you can go to. Okay. You can go to toolbars. You can find here called line format toolbar. Just click on line format toolbar up here and you can drag it and you can place it at the bottom of your sheet. So this toolbar will help us to change the line thickness as well as the line type. Okay. Right click on sheet 1, properties, go to first angle, apply changes. Now you could see the sheet, you can click on zoom to fit or in the sheet in order to fit the sheet according to the space available. Now I will go to sketch, I will make use of the tools such as line, rectangle, polygon to draw the entity. So I will draw XY line now and draw XY line. So if you want to stretch, you can always stretch this. You can, you can see here the line is always horizontal. Why? Because we have added a relation called horizontal. That is why even if I drag, it will not be inclined, it will be it will remain as an horizontal. Now I'll go to polygon. Since it is a square prism, we'll draw this. Okay. So let us uh, see the question first. The question is square prism of base 30, axis 60, rests on one of its base edges and this base edge is inclined at 30 degrees to VP, draw its projection on the axis is inclined at 45 degrees to P. So they are given edge inclination and axis inclination. So first we should consider the axis inclination, we will incline the axis with respect to HPV 45 degree by resting one of its base edge. In order to rest the base edge, we should make that base edge perpendicular to VP. Then only we can rest the base edge on HP. Let us go to smart dimension. Let us dimension this 30. 30. How do I remove double zero edge? Go to options, document properties, dimensions trailing zeros in dimension say click ok now 30.00 will be shown as 30 how do i get the axis is i can connect to the center of the circle or i can draw diagonals okay this is how in manual drawing we do same way i have to it here next can i drag this yes you can drag this there is no problem in dragging why because it is constrained now let us make this line stick in order to make sure that construction line as well as the object line. The square prism will have top face and base. So let us name this first A of A1. Means what? Top face is having A and base is having A1. Similarly, B of A1. So the top face name will be A, B, C, D. Base will be A1, B1, C1, D1. That is why we have put a of A1, B of B1, C of C1, B of B1. Next comes the axis. So we can put O of O1. O of O1. O of O1. Next, I'll go to sketch. I'll draw its front view. So I'll go to okay. any extra lines you can turn it. Where is the axis? This is where the axis is. So first let me draw the axis. This axis line. They are given the axis height to be 60 mm. So type 60. Change the line type of the axis. Select the line. Go to line type. Make it to chain. Let the thickness remain same. That is 0.18. Okay. But line type should be changed from continuous to chain type. Now let us complete the front view. Use alignment indicator in order to do this. Use box to select all the lines. Hold control key and deselect this center line. Change the line thickness to 0.5. Now let me go to annotation. Note 
and let me name this top face. This is A dash in bracket B dash. Similarly, this point is B dash in bracket C dash. This is O dash. Clear? So, next, the same thing can be copied actually. Hold control key, select the three text, control C, click here, control V. It will paste. Now, double click on this to edit the text. Just keep adding one A1 dash, B1 dash, O1 dash, B1 dash, C1 dash. Like this, you can always make use of the option called copy and you can always edit it hmm, to get corresponding points. Now, very important is XY. So, capital X, capital Y, VP, HP. Type it wherever you feel convenient. Later, you can drag it and you can place it precisely. It need not be typed in exact location. Okay, this is X, this is Y. So, you can zoom in here and you can place it precisely. Okay. Then zoom out. Use crawl button to zoom in and zoom out. Next, let us learn how to copy and rotate this. Go to sketch. Inside move entities, we have copy entities. So, use box to copy all this entities in the print view. Start point. Mention this is a start point and this has an end point. So, start point is on X, Y line. End point is on X, Y line. Okay. Now, we will rotate it. Go to rotate entities. Select the print view, center of rotation, I will select B1, C1 as center of rotation. Since we should rotate clockwise, so in SOLIDWORKS, clockwise rotation is negative, anti-clockwise rotation is positive. So give minus 45. So we are fixing one of the base heads on HP and we are rotating the base. Base inclination is 90 minus axis inclination. 90 minus 45 will give me 45. That is why I have given minus 45 degree. Now I will say OK. So, you need some space for the first third position. So, you need to move towards left side. So, go to move entities, move it so that you are not wasting the space. After moving it, now let us generate the top view. So, go to line drop projectors. This is D1 dash to D1. The next projector is A1 dash to A1. Similarly, this is O1 dash to O1. Similarly, B1 dash to B1. C1 dash to C1. Like that, you can write. Similarly, so here also, this is D dash to D1 dash, or D dash to D. Next is E dash to A, O dash to O. Similarly, C dash to C, B dash to B. Like this, you can complete it. After completion, you should select the outline and make it thick. That is 0.5. This is the outline. These two are not outline. So I will deselect this and I will make it to a Now you could see the object in the top view. Let me name that top view first. So this is A1. Okay. Next is B1. C1. D1. O1. Similarly, here this is A, B, C, B, O, right? Now, A, move it to the nearest location. Do not place it away. If you have this problem, you can zoom in and you can place it. Then it will be precise. Otherwise, the movement will not be precise. Now, you could see that this entire face ABCD is near to the observer, it will be visible. This is away from the observer, it will be hidden. So, this AD will become visible. So, make it to 0.5. This B1C1, make it to 0.5, but it is away from the observer, make it as a hidden. Okay. Next comes the axis. So, make it to chain type. This is how you can generate the top view of the solid. Go to smart dimension. Dimension is very important. The axis is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. Okay. Dimension the entities which is given in the question. So, say 30 mm, I have dimension 60 mm, dimension 45 degree mm. Next comes VP inclination, which is 30 degree. Okay. Draw a line here, which makes an angle of 30 degree. How do I dimension angle? Select two lines, you get 30 degree. Okay. 
okay after this you can go to copy entities select everything in the top view start point you click here so which is the resting site p1 c1 so i'll select c1 as my reference point i'll place it well below the x y line why because if i place it nearer after rotating it will intersect with the x y line so place it well below the x y line okay after copy paste go to rotate entities select the entities which you have copied center of rotation is this okay you can use this drag and you can draw it you can use this axis and drag it to the corresponding 30 degree line and say okay this is how i can rotate i can feel that still i can move towards left side so i can just copy this entire thing use box and copy all the elements go to move this is your start point and this is your end point so don't place it nearer like this it's not correct so it should be well below x y line okay once you place it well below x y line next comes the front view how do i can read the front view drop projector from the corresponding point so you can start with a1 b1 okay this is using alignment indicator you can make, you can draw you can see here d12 d1 dash is getting connected here so this is a1 to a1 dash similarly c1 to c1 dash b1 to b1 dash like this you can draw because b1 c1 is on x y line so c1 b1 will be on x y line next comes d d A. Next comes C. Make sure the projectors are vertical and the horizontal projector exactly vertical. Don't draw any inclined line. Last two points are O1. See here, you can see the alignment indicator. If I click now, it will be connected to O1. Similarly, O. So like this, you can complete the front view. Now let me name the front. Go to node. You can start with A1. This is where the A1 is. So this is A1 dash. Okay. Next B1 is here. So this is B1 dash. This is C1 dash. This is D1 dash. Like this, you can complete the base. Next comes the top is A B C. So here you can see where is A. A is here, so this is A dash. Next comes B dash. This is C dash. So follow the sequence. So once you follow the sequence, then there will be no problem. Now let me place it precisely. This is C one dash. This is B one dash. This is O one dash. A one dash. B one dash. And over here also, this is B one. This is sorry, B dash, C dash, O dash. A dash and D dash. Now what I should do is I should complete the outline first. So go to sketch B one dash to B, B dash to A. This is already existing. D dash to D one dash, D one dash to C one dash, C one dash to D one dash. So these lines can never be complete. So I'll select all this outline and I'll make it thick so that we get a picture of the boundary of the solid. This is the boundary of the solid. Next comes the observer. So this is this face is near the observer. A one, B one, C one, D one will be visible. This is away from the observer. A B C. So connecting to A one, all lines will be visible. So go to line, connect A one dash to B one dash, A one dash to A dash. So any corner will be connected by three edges. You can see here these three edges will be visible because of the near nearness. So this object is this portion is near the observer. That's why it becomes. Next comes A B C. So you can see C is the farthest point. So connecting to C, all lines will be there. So C to B is already there. C dash to D dash, C dash to C one dash. Okay. So select these three lines, make it to dash, change the line type to point five. So last line is the axis line, which connects from O dash to O one dash. Connected. You could see that all Lines are parallel to each other. Means, I'll explain it. You can observe 
at this point it's parallel to this, parallel to this, parallel to this. All these lines are in parallel. Similarly, this line is parallel to this, then like this. You could make out if at all if you go wrong, if any one of them doesn't have a maintained a parallelness, you can always cross check with the projectors which you are drawing. Okay. So this completes the projection of solids. First problem on square prism. Okay.